In this video we will be covering the interface from Grand Prix Race Manager to our race effects software. Race effects can play a variety of sound effects during your race with the click of a mouse button. When interfaced with Grand Prix Race Manager, Grand Prix Race Manager can send messages to race effects to automatically play sound effects during your race and awards ceremony. Grand Prix Race Manager and race effects can be on the same computer or even two different computers that are networked together. For this interface to work, you do need Grand Prix Race Manager Pro version 15 or above and race effects version 7 or above. First, let's configure the interface in Grand Prix Race Manager. So, go to the Software Settings screen. Click on the Advanced button to open up the Advanced Software Settings screen. Then go to the External Apps tab. To enable the interface, check the Enable External App Communications box. That's all there is to configuring Grand Prix Race Manager. Now, let's configure Race Effects. To configure the interface for race effects, click on the Software Settings button. Then click on the Advanced button to open up the Advanced Software Settings screen. Go to the Remote Interface tab. Now, check the Enable Remote Interface box. Note, if you are running Race Effects version 7, you would select Multicast as the communications mode. Versions 8 and above of Race Effects only use multicast mode, which is the same for Grand Prix Race Manager version 16 and above. There are three events that Race Effects can play sound effects for start of heat, end of heat, and the awards reveal. When the start of heat message is sent by Grand Prix Race Manager depends on your timer. If your timer lets Grand Prix Race Manager know when the start gate is released, then the software will send the start of heat message at that time. You can tell if your timer supports that feature if you see the yellow area on the racing screen turn to green when the gate is released. If that area stays yellow, then your timer does not let the software know when the gate is released. If that is the case, the software will send the start of heat message once you click on the ready timer button. The end of heat message is sent when Grand Prix Race Manager displays the heat results. The awards reveal message is sent when you click on the reveal button from the standings or awards screens to display an award to your audience. With each of these events, you can select a sound category to coincide with that event. Then you can either select to play a random sound effect from that category or to play a specific sound effect. If you don't want race effects to play a sound effect for one of these events, then select the none option for the category. Save your changes when you are done and close the Race Effects Software Settings screen. We can test that the interface is working from Grand Prix Race Manager. First, click on the Test Message button. Grand Prix Race Manager will then send out a test message. If we then go to Race Effects, we can see that it acknowledged that it received a test message. You can also test the specific messages that will be sent to Race Effects. First, select Race Effects as the application to test. Then click on the button to send the applicable message. Grand Prix Race Manager will let you know that the message has been sent. Then listen for the sound effect to play. That's the basics of interfacing Grand Prix Race Manager and Race Effects together. If you need help on the interface, please refer to the help file for either software package. There is a troubleshooting section in the software's help file regarding troubleshooting the external app interface that you can refer to if the test messages do not come through.